Here is another very nice picture of a lung. Well, it's a nice picture, but it's not a nice lung. You could see that a good portion of it, at least on this cut section, consists of a large tumor. And although this tumor may ultimately extend towards the pleural surface, like you see here, it looks like perhaps the uh, original part of it may have occurred more centrally. You can see some congested lungs surrounding this whole thing. The blacker areas are probably more congested and the whiter areas are probably less. And uh, the congestion implies some compromise of the alveolar space as well. But uh, let's go into the microscope now and uh, ask ourselves, you know, what exactly is this? Is this adeno? Is this squamous? Or is this uh, oat cell? And here is a, a arcing of a bronchus. So you could imagine that this area out here is the lumen. It looks like a large bronchus. You could already instantly recognize this as being hyaline cartilage. And what you first see is that if this is the bronchus, you should have a mucosa here consisting of a certain type of epithelium and a certain type of uh, uh, connective tissue underneath it. But you don't have any epithelium at all, do you? What you do, do see are these irregular trabecular or finger-like nests of cells on both sides of the bronchus. And what are they? I know you're already suspecting tumor. And I think even though you haven't seen nuclei, you know that this irregular pattern of growth which evokes kind of a fibrous response, is uh, quite typical for cancer, and specifically epithelial malignancy, which is carcinoma. And uh, I think you could see, if you look uh, closely, and we're going to try to look more closely, that if you look at some of these tumor nests, uh, we'll take another random area out here, let's say. If you look at these tumor nests, they look like squamous cells, don't they? This is squamous cell carcinoma of the lung, classically the most common type, uh, associated with cigarette smoking, bronchial irritation, squamous metaplasia, squamous cell carcinoma, in situ, and finally, this big uh, infiltrating squamous cell, which is on both sides of the bronchus. On our very highest power, I want to show you something that's going to prove this is squamous cell. When you look at tumor cells, uh, often in their little clusters like this, and you're kind of in a quandary as to is this squamous, is this adeno? Well, do you see this out here? Do you see this little space between two tumor cells? And do you see how there's a little regular string of a ladder rungs in between this space? These are intracellular bridges. These are tonofibrils. These are desmosomes. These are absolutely diagnostic of squamous cells. And even though they're malignant squamous cells, when you find features like this, you no longer have to scratch your head and wonder what kind of epithelial malignancy you're dealing with. You know this is squamous cell carcinoma. However, it already kind of looks like squamous cell, doesn't it? Thank you very much.